I got a PhD degree in food science and nutrition. And then I ended up getting a job at NASA. I was interviewing for the job when they were landing on the moon for Apollo 11. I developed food and food packages for space. The FFA gives kids like me that doesn't have a, an opportunity at all, a, a real chance to get out and make something of their life. I was just scared to death to talk to anybody growing out here in the country and going to a one-room school. But the FFA opened me up and let me realize I could get out and talk to people and talk before a group. And FFA allowed me to be in judging teams and participate in a lot of activities that I couldn't otherwise do. And also FFA advisor Ted Redhair asked, well, are you guys going to go to the University of Missouri? And he said, well, we're thinking about it. And he said, I'll be out next Tuesday and pick you up and take you to the university and register you. And he did. If it hadn't been for Mr. Red here, we'd probably be cutting wood for a living today. Well, when I first went to NASA, they had food in little square cubes, like pressed uh, cereal and cookies. Pressed them up in these cubes and they ended up not eating a lot of them. So we changed all that. We went from cubes and tubes to uh, open containers with normal utensils and they wanted us to test all the brand new packages. So we had to take that up on zero G plane and open it up and sample it. Well it's the same type of food that we eat except a lot of it's in a different package. It has to be packaged so you can consume it in zero gravity. Today on the space station they they have a pantry so you can go pick out what you want for for a main entree. You can like a you can get a beef steak, potatoes green beans, whatever you want. Story Musgrave liked shrimp cocktail and he went up on shuttle at least six or seven times and every meal, every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, he wanted shrimp cocktail. That's one I can remember for sure. <laughs> the Queen came over, I think it was in 1986, and they chose me to give a food demonstration to her. But before I went, I had to go to protocol school, learn how to meet the queen and how to greet her. And it was really an opening for me because if I hadn't been in FFA, I don't know where I would be. I believe it's the best organization for young people in existence. I don't know of anything else that offers that many opportunities and, and that much encouragement for young people to get out and do things.